Hi everybody, it's time for Tuesday product reviews and today we're going to review another LED light strip from Hit Lights. So I know that we've already uh, unboxed and reviewed one of their light kits. Uh, you can find that video in the corner. Um, this one is different because it can, can be controlled through your uh, Amazon Echo or Google Home device and uh, there is an app that you can use to control these lights. So we're going to unbox this thing and get it installed. So the, this light kit um, is very similar, almost identical actually to the previous kit. The packaging is still very professional, very impressive. Uh, we have power source. Now I'm not going to say RF receiver because this is uh, does not have a remote, but there's the adapter, the part that will be, will communicate with your uh, smart home devices. Instructions. Single clip. This is another. It's a magnetic bookmark. This is a thank you uh, for your purchase. Really neat little thing that they've been including. I thought this was pretty cool. And the LED strip itself. So we're gonna take a little bit closer look inside this. Zip block that came with it. We have the um, the Wi-Fi light controller, sticky adhesive padding, connector to to add more lights. Uh, and the instructions that I had a hard time getting out. But I'm definitely going to use and hopefully um, kind of help walk you through how to how to set up these lights so you can control them with your smart home device. And here the actual LED stripping. So here's a quick rundown on what I intend to do today. Uh, I think I mentioned it in the previous review video. We put them in the bathroom because we wanted to add some light in that, on that random dark kind of shelving shelf spot in the bathroom. It didn't really make any sense. It's kind of dark, I wanted to add some light to brighten it up. Gabriel loves them. Bath time has turned into like bath dance party time. I don't know, it's crazy. So I just set it and it'll cycle through the lights and he plays in the tub and has a good old time. But what we're gonna do here is install these under the cabinet. Our kitchen here, we've got this area and as you can see, I mean these are the full light on, it's still kind of dark under there. So one of the projects, when we first moved in, I said I'd really like to put some lighting under there. I had some uh, battery powered LED lights, some small little pe little ones, you know. Um, they're okay, they, the batteries don't last very long and they're not super bright. So I'm really looking forward to getting these things installed, these LED strips on, installed under here. The stripping itself, I don't know if you can tell, see that blue? That's the cover on the adhesive on the back side of the strip. So I'm going to use that adhesive to hold um, these lights to the underside of the cabinet. I went to Home Depot to try to find clips. I know they make them um, that like 3M clips, but they're they're kind of like this, and you can slide the light underneath, and it kind of helps hold it in place. I wanted to do something like that just to kind of shore it up, um, but could not find those clips. So I think I'll have to order those online. So my goal, what I'm going to do now is, uh, I believe that this L the stripping on the back of these LEDs should be fine. It's pretty clean. I'm going to get give it a little, you know, damp cloth, wipe down, let it dry before I stick them on there, just to make sure the source is clean from any dust or anything like that. But um, and then hook it all up, run this power source to one of either the plug behind the Keurig or the plug right there. And then we're going to get these things connected to the, uh, we have a Google Home Mini that we pretty much only use to play music right now because we don't really have any other smart home devices. It does control the TV. I have it set up to control the TV, but by the time I say, hey Google, turn on the TV, start Netflix, I could have just pushed the power button on my remote. So, anyway, all that to say, I'm going to put these lights under these cabinets. Let's get started.
Okay, so the lights are all installed. I'm really pleased with the adhesive. I think that this is going to work just fine. Um, you know, I had my doubts because typically this kind of stuff doesn't always stick quite as well as you'd hope it would, but uh, this is sticking really well, and I think it would stick to just about any clean surface. Uh, so we're going to get a light added and power this bad boy on and see if we can get it connected to Google. I think I do cheat. Yeah? He's excited about having lights in the kitchen. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. We did hit a little bit of a snag in our uh, Wi-Fi light setup process. Um, through no fault of the manufacturer, we have Google Mesh internet. Um, and, and, and this is a common issue for a lot of uh, smart home devices. They need the 2.4 gigahertz frequency um, and mesh internet intertwines those. So it's just not possible to just go in through your phone and connect to the 2.4 frequency um, that the device requires in order to set it up. So it took me a few days to kind of figure out what was going on. Uh, Hit Lights actually sent me a replacement receiver with a remote if I couldn't get the Wi-Fi thing to work, the Wi-Fi receiver to work. Um, there, which, tell, well, I want to tell you, the customer service is incredible. Uh, there's nothing but friendly and I've you know reached out and said look I hit a, hit a snag doing your review video uh, for this product oh, you know and they said well look we want to make sure it works for you they didn't really they weren't as concerned about the review video uh, you know as they were concerned about making sure the product worked for me so they're just incredible customer service oh, I think it's a good company anyway I have uh, put together a real brief workaround video that shows you how to do that. If you're setting up um, smart lights or smart switches, any any smart home device that requires a 2.4 gigahertz frequency to connect uh, to connect to get it all set up, it's a real simple uh, kind of dumb, honestly, workaround to to make it to to kind of force your phone to the 2.4. Uh, frequency anyway, anyway to set up the whole thing as you can see our lights are functioning and just to show you that it is functioning properly hey Google turn the kitchen lights blue hey Google reduce the brightness of the kitchen lights by 50% Hey Google, turn the kitchen lights white. Works perfectly. I just had to do that one little workaround to make the receiver work for me. Um, and that did not involve having to disconnect anything because I started the review video uh, before I, you know, tested anything. So anyway, it was all installed and I figured out the workaround. But it's functioning great. Uh, I'm very pleased with these lights. <laughs> I'll say Gabriel is not only because he likes to have the remote and he likes to be able to push the little colored buttons on the remote um, this one does have a uh, smartphone capability there's an app so you can go in you can open it up and you can fine-tune the colors and stuff because like if I say hey Google turn the kitchen lights pink they're not quite as pink as Sarah would like. She said, that's not really pink. It is pink, but it's kind of a pale pink. So I went into the app and you can adjust the uh, the color temperatures, the color settings, things like that. So it's very, it's a, a lot of flexibility there. Pretty cool app. Um, the kit comes with instructions on how to add the lights to your, um, you know, how to, how to add, set up the app add the lights, get the lights set up, and then how to sync that with your Google Home. Uh, it's very simple. I'm not gonna walk through that in this video uh, or in the in the workaround video that's, in, that's gonna be, uh, that there's a link to in the description and at the end screen. Um, because they send instructions and they're step-by-step. Step, and if you follow them, they're very simple. If I can set it up, anybody can set it up. So, all in all, I'm very pleased. Um, I was a little, you know, I was kind of bummed at first that I couldn't quite get the, the Wi-Fi thing to work. And then I did a little bit of research 
uh, and, and figured out the workaround and it's really simple. Um, so now I have exactly what I want in the kitchen, which is uh, LED strip lights underneath the kitchen cabinets. They work great, they're very bright. I would recommend these to anybody. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, there's a link and a coupon code, a link to the product in the description, as well as a coupon code <clears throat> right here and in the description. So use that, uh, save yourself a little bit of money on this, uh, this great setup. So I'll say, last thing I'll mention, if you do have, if you have a dual band internet, no problems at all. If you have a basic router, uh, you won't have any problems setting this up at all. The only reason I had an issue is because I have a mesh internet system. Um, like if you have Google mesh internet, I think there's a Netgear uh, mesh internet. Um, that was the only snag that I hit in the entire process. Otherwise, everything went incredibly smooth. Uh, very simple setup. Like I said earlier, the, uh, the adhesive on the actual lights is really good. These have been up for... I'm gonna be honest, it's uh, a week, and a week, week and a half. I've lost track of my days, and it's sticking fine. I have no doubt this is gonna hold up for the long haul. So, anyway, it's a long goodbye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out my partner channels. Thank you for watching, I appreciate it.